Hi, welcome to my Pokemon Journeys, episode 91, the Ghost Train Will Now Depart review. Sash and Go have just arrived in Winden as they're headed to Stoneside. As I discuss which platform they need to go to, Ash bumps into a kid, the ghost type gym leader Alistair who drops the ticket. Quickly, I just want to say, I wonder where they came from. Like, we should know there's an airport by Winden that we've never needed a train to get to, so you'd expect them to fly to Winden and just get the train to Stoneside, but oh well, never get the answer to that. Alistair runs off, and Ash tries to return the ticket, and Alistair runs to a platform zero or whatever, which is some haunted CD dark platform. Frankly, I'd expect that from Liverpool Street or something, so this feels right at home. The train here is going to Stolen Side, so the boys decide to hop on. But you have to travel through the train to reach Coach 1, which is where Alistair's ticket says he'll be. The first coach we go into has a bunch of statues and stuff, with one odd looking keystone in the middle. Grookey jumps into Ash, which knocks the keystone down, so Ash tries to pick it up, but it's too heavy. As they try to lift it, something enters Ash's body, which everyone else notices, but Ash seems fine. As they leave, Ash's face contorts into quite a spooky one, and whenever it goes dark in the train, this side of him seems to come out. There's a whole bunch of Drifloon in the next room, which Go is kind of spooked about, and that's where this possessed Ash comes out and starts telling the others they look scared, and pushes Go into the next carriage. Ash realises there's something wrong with him whenever he goes back to his regular self, and all the Drifloon show up. The room goes dark again, Ash grabs a whole bunch of Drifloon and starts chasing Go out with them, Internally, Ash is questioning what he's saying and doing. Of course Ash doesn't like what he's saying. The evil Ash said he should have taken a picture of a scared Go, which is quite mean. And while the evil Ash acts like it's just a prank, Go and Ash aren't happy about it at all. Inside Ash is a green orb that floats around. And this basically is what the episode is. Encountering ghost types, Go being tormented by this possessed Ash, and Ash fighting on the inside. A notable thing that does happen is a bunch of Ninkada show up in the train and evolve which please a Shedinja to show up in one of Go's Pokeballs, so that's a fun reference to the games, don't think we've ever seen anyone in the show obtain a Shedinja before. As Alistair shows up in the carriage, Spiritomb awakens from the odd keystone, it's angry as it's missing one of its spirits according to Alistair, Ash's face is getting progressively more purple as his eyes have gone green, Go is begging for help from Alistair as a branch knocks Ash out. Go decides to take on Spiritomb while Alistair exercises the spirit within Ash, a Sinistee pours itself into Ash which drains its life force, hoping to get the spirit out of him, and it certainly wakes Ash up again. Go asks Spiritomb to stop, but Spiritomb just attacks. Absol defends him. Meanwhile, the spirit leaves Ash's body and it immediately retreats to the ground where they can't reach it. Luckily, Ash has Gengar to grab the spirit as it hides in Ash's shadow. They head to Spiritomb, which Go and Absol are still struggling with. Gengar uses its intangibility to dive around the room and catch Spiritomb off guard. It jumps into some rubble that Absol kicked up and uses it as a chance to force the spirit into Spiritomb, which seals it once more. They make a stop, as the odd keystone is taken by some Haunter and Ghastly, as Spiritomb wanted to be left in this graveyard. The next stop is Stolen Side, where Ash and Go get off. As they talk with each other, Alistair takes a notice of Gengar, but as Ash remembers the ticket, Alistair and the Ghost Train are both gone. So I thought this episode was pretty enjoyable. It's not really as in your face about leading to Gengar development as a Mega Island episode of Lucario was, but it's done in a really nice way, I think. Except this scenario which would lead Gengar to being the only one of Ash's Pokemon to be able to help, and it gave a pretty nice little action set piece to it. Alistair got more of a subdued debut, but I think that's actually really fitting for him. He runs off at the start of the episode, and we don't really see him again until like halfway in, where we get to see his prowess in understanding ghost types by realising why Spiritomb is angry, and how to best combat possession. I don't feel like we got to know him before that, but it works fine considering the type of episode this was. This was a good chance to offer a bunch of other ghost types we may not have seen yet, like Spiritomb, Drifloon, and Shedinja. It's kind of funny they called attention to Sableye here, as that was actually one of the first Pokemon they did encounter on Mega Island. I think the main highlight of this episode is seeing how Go responds to Possessed Ash. He gets frustrated, he gets worried, he has to put up with his bullying, and he acts as a straight man to things like Ash poking Shedinja. His begging to Alistair to save Ash because Ash is his precious friend was really heartwarming. I really like Go's betrayal here, even as he goes off to hold off Spiritomb to give Alistair the time he needs to save Ash. I really like this episode. I don't think it'll blow anyone's minds or anything, but it's definitely a solid inclusion to the series, and I'm excited to see how Alistair will be helping out Gengar next week.